the data monitor. On the top left, you will notice a checkbox for grid lines. This turns grid lines on or off. Shaded lines. This option shades each line either on or off. Checkboxes. The checkboxes on the left hand side are used to request PIDs from the computer. If the box is checked, a request will be sent to the ECM for that particular PID. In some cases you will notice that information has already been received. This is because the information is either broadcast, requested by another module, or is requested by default. For example, PID 87, Cruise Control High Speed Set Limit. There is no information. By checking this box, an information request will be sent to the ECM and within a few seconds the information will be presented. There is a checkbox at the top header. This checkbox is used to turn all PIDs on or off. This is used to request everything from the ECM that is available. This is a handy feature, however, it does slow PF Diagnose down. It is recommended that you only use this for one or two cycles and then turn it off. The graph icons indicate that this PID is being graphed. For example, PID 91 is currently being graphed. As you change the graph selections, the icon will move to the PID being graphed. There are six graphed PIDs. The shaded yellow box is a J1708 feature that indicates this PID has an inactive fault code. J1708 data. The information here is the information received on the J1708 data bus. J1939 data. The information here is the information received on the J1939 data bus. You may notice that there is a difference. Some information is available on J1939, but not J1708. And some information is available on J1708, but not J1939, as is in the case of PID 86. This is normal, and is commonly found in vehicles that use both J1708 and J1939. You may also notice that there is a slight difference in the values between J1708 and J1939. That is because the data on the J1708 data bus may be in a different resolution than that of the J1939 data bus. For example, information on the engine percent load may be down to the tenth of a percent on the J1708 data bus whereas on the J1939 data bus it may be down to one hundredth of a percent. This can cause a rounding error or difference of one percent or two percent. The Monitor tab in OBD2 Many of the features are the same as the J1708 and J1939 monitor tab. PID, description, PID value. However, you'll notice a bar column. PIDs that have percentages are shown here in a bar format. You'll also note that PIDs must be checked in order to refresh. For example, load percent. You'll see that the box is checked and as you run the engine that value would change continuously. Absolute throttle position. The box is not checked. Therefore this value of 18.04 percent will remain until you check the box or until you scan again. Also the graph icons. The boxes are automatically checked for graph icons. If you're going to graph an icon or graph a PID you might as well have it refreshed. One other thing to note is if you notice a, dis a delay, for example if you press the throttle and it takes a second or two for that value to change. That is because the information is coming in too fast. The adapter will buffer the information and this will cause a delay. 
To cure this, slow the scan speed down. By slowing the scan speed down, you make fewer requests per second, giving the adapter time to catch up. This makes the action of pressing the throttle seem instantaneous. Whether we scan 50 times a second or 15 times a second, it won't make much difference to the end user when viewing the values. Also note that the more icons or the more PIDs are that are selected, the slower the reaction. This is typical with OBD2. It is best to check only those PIDs that you are interested in when you are scanning. You will also note that the various engines will give you different numbers of PIDs. PF Diagnose makes a request at connection time. It asks the ECU which PIDs are supported. The ECU responds and only those PIDs are listed in the chart, in the chart. whereas in J1939 or J1708 all of the available PIDs are listed in the chart.